Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we have some more details around the Certain Affinity Halo project that was cancelled, or might not be cancelled, according to some people. And this comes from Mr. Rebs, aka Rebs Gaming on Twitter. Make sure you follow him. He's actually got a YouTube channel, and he spoke about this stuff at the beginning of the year. Or rather, the beginning of October, but he's been reporting on it for a long time. And this one kind of hurts because uh, of what... What could have been? That's kind of like the uh, status quo right now with Halo. But this comes from a LinkedIn profile that confirms Certain Affinity was making a Battle Royale mode for Halo Infinite. Didn't seem like it was going to be its own standalone game. But it's Mike Klopper, who worked at Certain Affinity for 15 years and 5 months, and was a game director for 1 year and 3 months. But the post says, MP, which I assume is multiplayer, Halo Infinite. I led a large team of designers working on a canceled Battle Royale mode for Halo. I believe this product could have been a game changer for the franchise. We love playing it and working on it. it. was a fantastic experience in spite of its cancellation. Now, I know everybody's going to be like, Battle Royale bad, no Halo, not a game changer and stuff like that. I get it. Again, like we've been here so many times. 343 or Halo Studios was not making this. This was certain affinity. You don't have to argue that resources were being taken away for Halo campaign and stuff like that. Certain Affinity is a, a big studio. They can handle it. And I do believe that it probably would have been a game changer. In my opinion, Halo has been missing out on a big game mode like Warzone or Invasion. So when people are always like, a Battle Royale would be bad, I really don't think that would necessarily be the case because like a lot of people like those game modes and they were brand new to the franchise too. Now, honestly, if we got Warzone 2.0, I would have been happy. And I think that it would have greatly helped Halo Infinite's, you know, long-term success. But as we all know, that did not happen. Now, there's been some more reports, you know, regarding Tatanka being canceled and how it was changed to Ecker. And uh, a little comment in Mr. Rebs' Twitter feed is, Rip Tatanka, hello Ecker? Question mark from Grunt.API, who is one of my favorite follows on Twitter. So you should go follow them as well. Basically, maybe teasing something. I personally can't imagine that Certain Affinity would just cancel the BR without, like, any backup plan. I mean, there's been tons of time, you know, so much work has been done. It would just seem to me to be a silly thing to let all that go to waste. Now, we don't really know what Certain Affinity is still working on. A lot of people are asking that question, you know, like, are they working on a standalone game? Are they still working on Halo? You know, we haven't heard anything from them regarding that. So, like, where does that stand? We know there are multiple projects being worked on. And one of the things that I think with the Halo Studios name is that it's not so... Like, a lot of people are like, why would you name your studio after the game and stuff? I think it's there's more to it than that. I don't think it's just naming the studio after the game. I think, you know, we had reports that 343 was going to be more of a steward of the franchise. And I think you can slap Halo Studios on, you know, a third-party developer-made game and stuff like that. Now, a lot of people are like, you know, Battle Royales aren't popular anymore and stuff, and that's just not true. I mean, Fortnite and Call of like, oh, those games are apex, massive games. And as long as Halo didn't turn into just a Battle Royale, rather it was just like another game or a game mode for people to play, I would be all for it. If anything, it would help the, you know, player base get more people into Arena or something. It's unfortunate. I would like to believe that this is not just the end of that project. But as of right now, we have nothing else to go on. As always, if you made it this far in the video, I would love to know your opinions down below. Again, I know a lot of people aren't super excited about a Halo Battle Royale, but man, I just think about being an ODST in my drop pod, flying down to, you know, a Halo ring, I don't know, anywhere. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. It greatly helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. All you have to do is hit subscribe. But that's going to do it, and I will catch you all around the ring. Peace!